toy collectors and Robocop fans, we have here the Mafex Robocop number 67 from their line. So this one is actually based on the Robocop first movie and Mafex is planning to release the um, Robocop 2 version and also Robocop 3. The only difference between those is just the accessories from the promo pics and also number 2 is more like you know more blue tinted and number 3 looks more like this but with the jet, you know the jetpack. So yeah this figure is actually really good. There are some slight issues that I was having with and some complaints with the articulation. But you know, if you watch the movie, of course Robocop is very slow and limited, so don't expect a lot from this figure. But if you're like a big Robocop fan or just want to have Robocop vs Terminator, you know, type, type of toy photography, then this is the one I recommend. So yeah, let's get this review going. Robocop here stands almost six feet, six inches high. Sorry, I don't know why I say feet. He does come with quite a few accessories. He also comes with a, a pamphlet on how to swap out the parts. Pretty basic. And he also does come with the Mayfix stand, which is, you know, your basic Mayfix stand. So yeah, this is Robocop. He is amazingly done. The paint is awesome. There's some really nice shading. You guys can see from right here. The face, I don't know if you guys can see here, the, the lips is actually exact how it looks in the movies. And it has a little face printing. It surprisingly has face printing in the bottom. It's just nice. Here's the side of it. You can see here the nice, you know, little areas that are just really well done. A little tint there, tint over there. And then the back is all black, like shadowy style. And then there's tint down here. And a little tint down here. And you can see they put a lot of effort on adding just just the little details that's nice like for example in the movie you know this goes shh, shh, shh. but yeah really amazing especially that they got the middle part really well done and then they even got the little police stamp right here I don't know if you guys can see police 001 as in the first Robocop so yeah for accessory wise he comes with quite a few. He actually comes with two extra faces. Oops, sorry guys. This is, I guess, little mouth open face. And then this is kiss me. Fa I'm just kidding. I'm trying to remember what face was this for in the movie. I think he's just speaking. So your speaking face. And then he has his closed mouth face. Then of course he comes with a dam like he comes with a few actually damaged parts. He comes with the chest damage part. This is in the fight scene. I think in the end of the film where he gets crushed and it's like the little details there. And it's really cool. You can see the wiring. You can see the scratches, the bullet holes. Now from the back it looks normal. But that's just nice. And then for the helmet, you can see the bullet shots and the gun blasting effects, then the crack in the screen. Really cool. Then of course, what would be Robocop without his awesome popping out leg piece, which is right here. And this is actually easy to swap in. This is probably one of my favorite parts. And you can still see there's detail in it. Then he comes with actually quite a few hands, just gathering them up. So first he comes with two left and right, ah, sorry. He comes with two left and right open palm hands that he has on right now. He comes with a pointing finger hand. Stop, citizen. He comes with two fisted hands for left and right. Then he comes with his, I forgot what this is called. I guess I'll call it the, the dagger. Not a dagger, but it's like a pointy. And he used this in the movie when he stabs that guy in the neck. And then he has his gun holding hand. This is where I'm kind of bummed. I wish we had the left and right. Even though I know he uses the left hand, but it's just nice to be have. Sorry, I keep dropping it. It'd just be nice to have another left, uh, another right hand for this. And it's nice. These hands are really nice. You can tell. It kind of throws me off like it's a Batman vibe style, but it's actually for Robocop. And then, last and least, his beautiful gun. It's so amazingly done, so detailed, and you see the little bottom click here. Just so cool. And then he also has an effect for the gun, which is a triangle shot effect style and it's actually easy really easy to put on all you have to do is just hold the gun straight and make sure 
you have you see the gapping hole here and all you gotta do is just press I was having a little issue with this actually but you just have to keep pressing and you gotta make sure that the little aiming part matches this there you go really cool now for switching the accessories it's actually really simple but some parts are really tough because you know mine came a little tight with the head part and for sure I had to like press on my nail a little bit to shake it up and eventually it came off and that's how you take out the top helmet and then for the face you just have to pull it like a just slide it out like that and you can see here that the two joints connect to the back piece of the head and then you can just swap out with a new mouth part and then to swap the top head you can see the joint here sorry the joint hole and ta-da you now got the top head as for the chest you just have to pop out from here it's actually really cool i just realized it's actually metallic so if you ever want to look like you're doing you know repair work on robocop you can just pop that out you see the two magnetics here and ta-da i would i really like this <laughs> i didn't think that mafix actually would start using magnets so that's really cool how the magnet how the magnets work who knows now so the gun holster part you just pop this out and then you see here that there's a joint, sorry, the little hole piece where you click this. Oops, spoke too soon, I might be doing this wrong. Okay, sorry, I had it right the first time. Just to see, I'm having a little trouble plugging it in. Oh, that's why. Now as for the leg shooting piece, you're going to have to pop out the, this one. It's really easy. You can just slip it out. And if it gives you a hard time, just slowly push it with your nail. And then you can get the part where you actually look like you're holding your holster. Make sure this little circle hole connects with that circle hole. And you plug it in. And now it's open. And this, this is where you can like have the gun popping out. You know. But yeah. That's it for that part. As for swapping out hands, you know, simple hand uh, ball joints. So all you do is pop out the hand and swap it out with this hand. Then you have the, oops, wrong hand. You put the knife hand. Ta-da, easy, you know, no hard problems. Surprise is actually simple to plug in and plug out. Because, <laughs> you know, it's Mafex. Sometimes they have problems. Now, as for the gun, all you have to do is get the gun hand and just put in the gun there slightly. You know, just stick it in slowly and ta-da, it's on. My only complaint though is it's a little loose. So you can do this, you know, you can see moving around a little bit. But in toy sh if you're doing toy photography, you won't, you won't even notice it. It's pretty cool. Alright, so the... That's it for swapping out accessories. Now let's get the articulation going. But of course, let's pop out this part and plug in the original part. All right, so for articulation, he, he actually is pretty good on it. There's some parts where I'm having little complaints because I'm surprised they didn't put articulation in that area. That's all. And also, just a heads up, guys. Um, when I got my um my original front chest piece. There's like this weird smudge here. I don't know if you guys can see here, but I tried to scratch it off and it didn't even really work. Maybe I got a bad paint app issue, but just a heads up to keep an eye out that you might you guys might have some smudges like mine. So yeah, for articulation, his head can tilt this far to the left, that far to the right. You can look that much down and that much up. As for chest crunch, let's see how much you can go. You can go that far down. And just for kicks, let's take off the plate. Yeah, still the same. So even with the plate on, it still has the same articulation. Now as for backing up, you can back up that much. Now as for waist crunch, you can go that far down. And as for the back, you can go that far back. You can tilt this much far to the left until that much far to the right. 
and he can move his chest around. No, actually, he can move the ab around. No problems at all. You, can, you might even be able to do a 360. Now, as for the arms, you actually have a little joint here. So that shoulder, you know, I guess uh, the butterfly joint. So you can move it around that far left, that far back, and that far front. You can raise your arm, your arm that high. Fortunately, it stops right there just because, you know, the circular area blocks it out. It's even pushing the front chest plate a little bit. I'm going to put the original one back on. So, yeah, it just touches right there. You can raise your arm that high up. And, oop. Oh, I guess we just popped the joint out. Uh oh, it has begun. The curse of the Mayfix. So you guys can see here, just moving around the joint itself, it popped out. I'm trying to see if this might be an easy fix, or maybe it's just the joint came out of no problem. Ay ay ay, Mayfix, you're killing me here. Once, when I think you you perfected the QC issues, you come back hard. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I have to try to see if I can fix this myself. And it was easy just to plug the, the ball joint back onto the other joint, and it tucked in with no problems. So yeah. Now, as for elbow joint, you have actually double jointed. Cool. And my only complaint is that um, I don't know if you guys is here, but you know I'm used to having arm swivel and. I don't know why I have the impression that this would have arm swivel, but it doesn't so you can't like twist the arms around Fortunately, you have to just go with the butterfly joint and just see how far you can bend it around And what sucks is that not even the elbow has a you know swivel around so you just gotta Do as much as you can to bend You might be able to play around with the plate a little just to give you more movement But that's pretty much it what I can do Without the popping out up. Oh, yeah popping out the front chest Now, so your hand swivel, he actually has a good r rotation, no problems. You can go that far up, that far down, that far left, and that far right. Now, as for the splits, this is where he's kind of limited, but of course, it's a Robocop, he's not made to do splits. He can bend that far and much down. He has double jointed knees. Oops. Wow, this thing is just coming apart. Uh, okay. Sorry, guys. I have to fix this really quick. There you go. So I guess that was easy to fix. If this pops off, just make sure you put it back in the hole, and you got it back to normal. Now, as for... Let's see. Die swivel. You do have some, but you can't move it around. Just You can tilt it this far back and this far front. Now, you don't have boot swivel, but you do have good angle pivot. You can bend that much far to the left, that much far to the right, that high up and that high down. You do have toe pivot. You can bend it this far up and that far down. So you can push it down. So yeah, that's it for articulation. This guy looks like he's starting to fall apart. You guys have to put him back with his normal stuff and his hand can fall off. So yeah, for skill comparison, let's put him next to the Masco Batman with special undies edition. Put him next to the Black Panther, Marvel Legends. And this is the newer one, not the Civil War one. This is based on the movie itself. Then next to the Fig Arts Iron Man. If you want to fight. And last and random, of course, a Star Wars Black Series. Ah! He actually looks like he's part of the movie. Yeah, this guy's giving me a little trouble to flatten his feet, so uh, I'll use my finger like that. So yeah, guys, this figure, yeah, you know, if you're a big Robocop fan, this is an awesome figure. And for those who, you know, just want, weren't able to get the NECA one and want to hop into Mayfix, this is your guy. So yeah, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. And thanks so much for watching. Take care.